Estrada Nadhesa presents the new BM25 broaching machine, entirely welded, manufactured, and assembled in our facilities. We will show you the different types of broaches and how to regulate the operating pressure of the machine. We will produce practical work examples. We will explain the unique features for optimal broaching jobs and differences between models, from largest to smallest in size. We will use broaches in millimeters and inches, manufactured with TN and TLN coatings that provide increased performance and allow for greater production using the most demanding materials. We will produce a practical example of a 25 millimeter broaching job. We insert the guide bushing. We place the keyway broach in the slot and we lubricate it with cutting oil. We bring the piston down until the brooch appears underneath the table and we clean up the metal shavings. We insert the first shim and the brooch. We repeat the same procedure up to a total of five times. The 22, 24, and 25 millimeter brooches are supplied with four shims, and we perform a total of five passes or operations. The first one only with the brooch, and the rest by adding one additional shim on each occasion. These are the ones that will determine for us the exact depth of the slot as per regulations. Broaching job time for a 22, 24, or 25 millimeter keyway brooch starting from when we place the piece in the machine until we remove it completely finished is a maximum of 5 minutes. In order to achieve piston thrust, we can replace the push brooch holder by one that is not as thick. For 16, 18, and 20 millimeter broaching jobs, the number of shims is 3, and the number of passes is 4. The maximum time for these broaching jobs is 4 minutes and 10 seconds. One of the main advantages of the new BM25 is that it can be easily transported to the workplace and that the same operator that uses the lathe or the machining center can take advantage of the time that the machine is in operation to make the appropriate broaching jobs. For 8, 10, 12, and 14 millimeter brooches, the number of shims is 2 and the number of passes is 3. The maximum broaching time is 2 minutes and 30 seconds. The process is always the same. First, we insert the guide bushing, then the brooch. We lubricate with cutting oil. We carry out the broaching job. We clean the brooch. We insert the first shim, the brooch, and so on. As we can see in the video, it is important to make intermittent descents so that the brooch maintains its vertical position. Tolerance in the broaching job is completely stable, and tapering is less than half a tenth. The broaching job is always perfect. It is important to center the brooch on the piston shaft and place it vertically.
For a broaching job of 5 or 6 millimeters, the number of shims is 1 and the number of passes is 2. The maximum broaching time is 1 minute and 20 seconds. There are two models of 5 mm brooches. Model 5B1 is used for small holes of 11 to 19 mm in diameter, and Model 5C for holes with a larger diameter, 17 to 36 mm. The ease of setting up the machine is one of the key features of the new BM25. We just need to fasten the V-shaped tool in order to center the piece with the piston rod of the machine. It is not necessary to affix the piece to the table, which represents a significant saving of time. For a 3, 4, and 5 mm broaching job, the number of keyways is 1, and the number of passes is 2. The maximum broaching time is 1 minute. When we want to carry out broaching jobs on small pieces, we can manufacture a centering device to position the piece into the hole in the table. For a 2 mm broaching job, only one pass is necessary. The maximum broaching time is 35 seconds. We can broach different kinds of materials, including plastic derivatives. In those cases where we want to make more than one slot on the same piece in a specific position, we just need to perform milling work in the bushing in order to insert a centering device. To adjust the operating pressure, we lower the piston until it makes contact with the table. We regulate the pressure gauge to the required pressure, in this case 100 bars, which is equivalent to 5 tons or 11,023 pounds. We can carry out broaching jobs with different shapes. In this case, starting from a previous cylindrical hole, we carried out a square broaching job of 16 by 16 millimeters. Also starting from a cylindrical hole, we carry out hexagonal broaching jobs. There are other applications for the BM25 that need pressure regulation. Entering all kinds of friction bearings is one of them. Mounting and dismounting bearings, as well as assembling of parts, are some of the various benefits of using the broaching machine as a press. Straighten axes after hardening with accurate pressure before and after an alignment.
With the key in the working position, the machine does not allow us to broach with the doors open. When we close them, we can operate normally. In the event that it is necessary to work with the doors open, we must activate the safety key. The red alert light comes on, which tells us to use appropriate safety glasses. If we want our operator to work with the doors closed, we can remove the key, thereby ensuring his safety. Once we have the machine in our facilities, we install the actuating lever. We disassemble the piston clamping used to transport the machine. We press the green button to start the machine. We turn the safety key to be able to work with the doors open. We position the piston into the appropriate place. We center the piston. We place and tighten the four Allen bolts. Now the machine is ready to work. Thank you for your continued trust in Narhesa.